One week after the end of a deadly unrest that shook Senegal, the country still counts its losses. Volunteers and staff from the Kaz Sheikh Hanta Job University are trying to salvage what can still be out of some 200,000 university archives. Youths armed with Molotov cocktail allegedly set ablaze the building. Until proven otherwise, I believe that students came and deemed it necessary to burn down the archives of the Faculty of Letters and Humanities. A despicable result. I'm short of words. I cannot talk about it. Cities across Senegal were plunged into chaos after a jail term was handed to opposition leader Osman Sonko. His supporters claim he was framed. The Sheikh Anta Job University archives included documents spanning from 1957 to 2010. The destroyed files are mainly student registration forms, birth certificates, report cards and theses. Staff documents, among whom professors and researchers, were also burnt. Student archivists are helping sort through the documents. We are both saddened and devastated. Seeing archives like this burnt down means that a part of the history of the university, and in particular of the Faculty of Arts, will be missing. At the National Archives Office, also located in Dakar, the director admits Senegal has never had a national building devoted to housing its documents. Nearly 20 linear kilometers of papers are stored in difficult conditions here. Fatoumata Diara argues the university incident should serve as a wake-up call to the authorities. The losses are immense, particularly in the case of the archives. These are files that have not been digitized. Think of an unlucky student whose file is completely burned down. There are degrees of destruction, of course. When fire consumes archives, Sometimes some parts remain intact, but as for the majority, I've seen the images. It's appalling. Three days were necessary to retrieve the documents from the burnt building. They are essential to retrace a student's journey, issue a diploma or to authenticate it. 